carrying comedian now doing the shoulder bag thing. <laughs> it's true, I'm not above a trend, and I never have and I never will be. <laughs> I'll just let you look at that right there. <laughs> Uh, well, it's fall. <laughs> um, I'm, you know, personally, I'm glad it is now fall. Um, I'm a little tired of the summer. I, um, I took a trip this year. I went to Fire Island this summer. Um, and I went for a whole week, which is just entirely too long of a time. I feel like... Day two, you're like, this is so much fun, I'm having the time of my life. And day five, you're like, I could die here. <laughs> it's like, day two, you're like, oh my god, how fun. Like, if I show my dick at this bar, I get a free shot. <laughs> and then day five, you're like, okay, but wait, does anyone just take cash? <laughs> <laughs> I do feel like being gay in New York is a cigarette and going to Fire Island for a whole week is your dad forcing you to smoke the whole pack. <laughs> <laughs> Almost made me quit. <laughs> I have, you know, I've had a lot of time to like, think about myself this year, and I've been trying to figure out my favorite body part. <laughs> and there's so many to choose from. I mean, <laughs> as this well sold biceps, and um, uh, you know, thick thighs. Um, there was just plenty to grab onto, but you know, I said that by far my favorite body part is my stomach, because it's the only body part with the ability to become upset. <laughs> you know, it's the only body part that can stop me from leaving the house because it's in a mood. <laughs> Do I need medicine? No, she needs time. <laughs> Thinking about our bodies, um, I actually have a brand new hobby um, that I'm obsessed with, and I kind of want to share with you guys what that is, and so I have a little track prepared. Um, if you could hit it, please. This is my brand new hobby, and bump it, if you will. A little louder? A little, a little louder? Good. <laughs> Bodies are crunching. Muscles are straining. The boys are grunting. CNN is muted. Sweat is dripping. Clothes are ripping. Hands are reaching. Thank <laughs> you. 
to like new people who aren't, you know, sitting in chairs in front of me on a stage. <laughs> I, uh, I had, I was called to arms recently. Um, I had jury duty. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, okay, I'll just, you know, go hang out in this like government space for a little while and be on my phone and then I'll leave. But <laughs> it actually ended up being way more, so I didn't realize it was like this whole like selection process. So you're first in like this big group of people, and they select, I think, a second, like a, a group from that group, like, I think based fully on looks. <laughs> so I got picked, of course, and want that courtroom to really pop. <laughs> 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 and then there's the interview portion, uh, and their first question was, what's your name? The second question was, who do you live with? And I live with my boyfriend, and I was like, oh no, I'm gonna have to come out of the closet in a court of law. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was like, oh, wait a minute, I'll just say he's my roommate. And I was like, oh no, I'm gonna be closeted in a court of law. <laughs> so it, I have like some time to think on it. And it finally gets to my turn. Question one, what's your name? I fucking nail it. <laughs> <laughs> Question two, who do you live with? And I, I pause, and I stand up, and I say, my boyfriend, that's right, guilty as charged. <laughs> I unfortunately did not get the part. <laughs> but it was an honor to be nominated. <laughs> um, so with that in mind, I thought I'd, you know, kind of share something pretty personal with you guys. I want, you know, this is a, a, a chance to connect with people and have people, you know, see themselves. And I want you guys to feel empowered, so I have another track that I just is vulnerable and true, and if you could just hit it. And keep in mind I'm an awful singer.